Hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm Walt Cameron. And I'm Stephanie Cameron. And we are the publishers of Adderall New Mexico Magazine. And welcome to episode 13 of the 5 Minute Friday. This week we're getting takeout from Mata G. And Hartford Square. And we're cooking up pork belly fried rice. But first, we're going to do this. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the Mata G Grab and Go here at the Co-op Deli, Co-op on Rio Grande. Those Punjabi chicken burritos sound pretty awesome. Sure. <laughs> All righty, right. we've got our Mata G Punjabi chickpea burrito. Mata G is a great uh, vegetarian and vegan restaurant in Knob Hill. And you can eat there, but you can pick up to go there and you can pick up their to go items at La Montanita Co op in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. You can smell the turmeric. You can see the turmeric. <laughs> mmm. Yep. I love me some chickpeas. Good stuff. Uh, we're at Hartford Square in downtown Albuquerque. Three chicken dinners. <laughs> so we just went to Hartford Square in downtown Albuquerque and we got ourselves our dinner. A salad here. We picked up ginger balsamic garlic chicken. Whoa, look at that. Ooh, look at the sauce. Grilled peaches and some grilled corn. Mm. The corn's good. There's some rosemary on there. Ooh. That's really good. That's got like a smoky flavor to it. For dessert, grilled peach. Peachy. It's all peachy. That's good stuff. Hartford Square. Ginger balsamic garlic chicken. So today we're going to make a kimchi pork belly fried rice. So first thing we're going to start with, right here, one pound of pork belly. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cube these into little like one inch cubes. One inch cubes of pork belly. One tablespoon of honey. This pork belly is from Kaiser Farms. Right out of that. Happy pigs. One tablespoon of sesame oil. One tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of ginger garlic. <laughs> one tablespoon of goju jang, which is a fermented chili paste. One tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. I use my hands. So this is going to marinate for 20 minutes. We are going to melt a tablespoon of butter. You need to do this at a medium to medium low heat so you don't burn your butter. We have the white part of a green onion right in here. And we're gonna put that in. We have our fresh snap peas. And then these ones are from the more mature ones, so we have Snap peas and regular peas. Going in. Our green onion in there is getting getting brown. They're looking like they're cooking up. Peas are starting to cook up. Now we're gonna add our garlic. It's not too garlic close. There. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna scooch this to the side, just like this. We're gonna put in the rest of our butter, which is another tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna grab our rice. So this 
is cooked rice that has been refrigerated. So you want to do it with cold cooked rice. So you're going to add your rice in. Kind of clumpy. But it needs to be cold. That's important. Do not do this with freshly cooked rice. Otherwise, you'll just get a big old mushy mess. Now we turn the heat up to high. Show that fire. Fire. Now we're going to add we're going to do three tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of oyster sauce. Okay, so we're uh, frying up our rice. Let me get all those clumps out of there. About three minutes of cooking. Next thing we're going to add in is our scrambled eggs. We scrambled three eggs, put those in. And then we're going to turn the heat off. Teaspoon of sesame oil. <laughs> and then the green half of our green onion is going to go in there. So you can use any vegetables you want to do in this dish. Anything you want. But we had, we have an abundance of peas right now. So we're just trying to figure out ways to cook them. Here's our pork belly. It's been marinating for about, well, about 20 minutes. I'm going to use some uh, nonstick oil. Woo! So we're turning these. Been cooking these um, about four minutes on each side at about a medium to medium low heat. Put a few, few little bellies on there. <laughs> this is a pre pre total personal preference thing, but um, so right here we have Mian's kimchi, which you can find at the farmer's market. Um, this goes really well. I like to put a little bit on there. And then um, once I start eating, mix it in. Mmm. 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 That's really good. Fried rice, pork belly, kimchi. That's it. That's it for this week's episode. Be safe and be well.